So guys, today I'm going to make a bakery or patisserie little countertop and window to put cakes and stuff in. So I got this idea from Gilly Gals, one of my friends, which I'll put her channel in the description. Um, yeah, so I can't take full credit for this. <laughs> That's where I got the idea. This was from Costco. This box had coffee, carried coffee in it, and it's a really solid box. So I was happy I got this. A shame the hole isn't in front because now I have to cut in here. So, okay, guys, let's see. I had an outfit set that it was opened. And I just tore off the plastic I'm going to use it for the front. And I had this box. I'm going to use it for the top. So now I'm going to cut the opening. Oh. The piece is cut out. This is the back. I'm going to have to glue this so it's stable. And this is the front. Oh, this is the top. And I already had this here. I think I'm going to just leave it. Because then you can look at the cakes on the side. I wish I had this piece and I would have traced it on the other side then I could have had it on the other side too anyways I'm gonna do it this way so that I got it all contact papered and that was the hardest part trying to get it right and then I ripped a piece on the front so I've got a side window a top window and a front I'm gonna put the the clear um plastic in now and then I will cover the inside of the box. Now I put all the plastic in just like my friend had done and I had put a side window because there was already a hole in the box. So there you have it. It's looking awesome. Now I just need to clean up the inside and cover it. It's so cute. Love it. Got it all done and now I'm going to put the shelf in. I put this piece here and then I decorated all the inside. And I'm not going to worry about the bottom because there's a shelf going here anyway. Okay guys. Let's glue in the shelf. This is with the shelf in and I noticed this shelf is kind of sinking. So I might have to put a little piece in the back to hold it up. I think it's because I didn't glue the front piece and I had these really heavy drinks on here so maybe that's the problem. So I did end up just contact papering this bottom bit and it looks really cute. I just have to fix that. I put contact on the top to this is like the countertop just like my friend did. And these I found I had them in the basement and then my son just had these nerds and then I also have these that chef Gina made they sweetheart candies and I just need to stick the box together and I haven't done that yet then as you can see on the front I put lace and then I was meant to glue this on the shelf inside and I totally forgot so I just ended up gluing it on the outside because it was too hard to glue in once I got the shelf in. And I got the, the lip glosses I got at the dollar store. And these are from Chef Gina. This is a Chef Gina cake. These are erases. Erases Chef Gina. This is a candle. Some more erases in the back. I just found whatever I had. So there is... The finished and this is what it looks with the American girl behind it and I'll post some um, pictures as well sorry she doesn't have an apron yet but I am ordering one and I also wanted to get grease I'm still not sure I might put something here I don't know what yet just to finish it off but it still looks just as cute like this Okay guys, thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe and check out my giveaway.